Hello, everyone. My name is Edith, also known as Lady E, and welcome to the Lady E Effect podcast. If this is your first time tuning in, we interview purpose-driven professionals that do amazing contributions to people, businesses, and communities worldwide. If that is something that is interesting for you, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and connect with us on the Lady E Effect on all social media platforms. Thank you everyone for tuning in, um, for all of those that have been supporting us and watching our previous episodes. And once again, we are in our season four, so we appreciate all of the support. For those that know me, I love to get right into it. You know, we interview the best of the best and today is of course, nothing short from that. So without taking any more time, thank you for joining us today. Please introduce yourself and let us know who you are. Hi, my name is Easy. I'm a real estate agent, licensed in D.C. I help people purchase homes in D.C., Maryland, Virginia, all over the United States. I help them purchase homes in Ghana, Dubai, and sometimes in Nigeria. So that's me. Ooh. Well, thank you so yeah. much again for joining us today. Um, we are excited to speak with you. So um, my first question for you is um, the industry you're in, real estate and you being mm -hmm. in business. Um, if you could share a little bit more with us um, in areas of how you utilize your business in the areas of real estate um, for those in the community. Um, I use my business to educate people, to educate people about increasing their finances, help them build wealth, generational yeah generational wealth especially so on my whole seminars once a month uh where i teach people the whole process uh, a lot of my clients and a lot of people i assist uh new immigrants or they've only been here a couple of years and so they're not really familiar with the system they're not familiar, familiar with the credit system uh in nigeria for example the system is you buy land and you build your house or you buy your house cash so this system we have over here, like where it's financing for 30 years, some people are not familiar with it. So what I do is I have these seminars where I have my real estate uh, lawyer there, my loan officer there, a credit repair specialist there, and we all come together and educate them on what it takes to buy a house. And for some people who already own a home already, we teach them how they could purchase an investment property and make profit out of it. Mm. So, that's that's wow. Yeah. I yeah. love the fact that you utilize your expertise and you also bring on the necessary professionals to collectively educate the community, whether those are, you know, coming from Nigeria, coming from a foreign place, or mm -hmm. just don't know the information. Not yeah. something that is extremely important when it comes to everyday people. Obviously, most of us are professionals, some of us are parents, but you know, we've definitely been misguided when it comes to overall finance, when it comes to the phrase real estate, um, mm -hmm. various ways on how you can utilize it for, you know, longevity, for wealth, um, for building and for, you know, very important things when it comes to the area of investment. So I love the fact that you don't just add your expertise, but you get the proper people to educate in all the different steps and variations to really trans transition the person from where they are to where they need to be. Um, if someone is tuning in to our program at this time and there is some advice that you can share in regards to real estate and overall what you teach, what are three pointers that you want to highlight and how you would teach um, your material, let alone your knowledge to those that are interested in buying and investing in property? For me, it's simple. The first thing and the most important step in the whole process that's even more important than me, your credit. Mm. Once you have your credit together, then there's hope. But once there's no credit, there's almost no hope. So mm. I always talk to people about your credit. Get your credit together. You need All you need is a minimum of 620 credit score to purchase a home. Mm. Get a 620 credit score you need to be working consistently for two years, mm -hmm. consistently. No, like, six-month breaks or three-month breaks. Just consistently working for, for two years. Then the bank also looks at how much you make every month compared to how much you spend every month. And with these three things, 
the bank uses that to decide exactly how much they're going to loan you towards buying a home. So it's pretty simple. Those three things, credit score, two years of working, and your debt to income ratio. Mm. Very yeah. important. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you for sharing. Um, yeah. So I want to shift a little bit, um, keep it in the area of business and your expertise, but I want to shift a little bit when it comes to community. Obviously, mm -hmm. new transformation is something that here on the Lady E Effect, we are extremely passionate about. And, you know, without the community, without the people, you know, we wouldn't be able to do what we do today. So exactly. the first question to you is, Utilizing the gifts and the expertise that you have, how important is community to you? It's, 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 it's everything. Community is everything. Uh, for me, my big one of my big motivations is initially when I wanted to first purchase a home, I didn't know anybody in the community to turn to. Mm. I wanted to purchase a home. I had this vision of buying a home and buying multiple homes and becoming an investor but I didn't have anybody. There was no one person I could point to. So I started reading books and it was all trial and error for me. Mm -hmm. So the reason why I, I'm so passionate about this is because I know exactly where you're, you're coming from because I was there. I mean, I moved to the United States when I was 18 years old. Mm -hmm. I tried to purchase my first home when I was 25 years old. I had no clue and there was nobody for me to look at. At that time, the biggest real estate, real estate person in the country was Donald Trump. Well, the most visible. So yeah. all you think you heard about was Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Trump Towers, Trump this. Yeah. So I bought all the Trump Trump books. Donald Trump had a couple of books at that time. I read yeah. all the books, but it still didn't give me the information I needed. And Donald Trump, he's a Caucasian guy. Right. It's different if I'm seeing a Nigerian guy or black guy that I could touch and feel like I could ask information from. So I want to be that guy. I want to be that guy where I'm out in the community every day. Every single day I'm out in the community. They could touch me. They have my, everybody has my number. I, I mean, you don't even have to call me. You know, everybody in the community knows exactly where to find me. I'm in the same couple of stores every day. I'm reachable. Plus I host the seminars for free. It doesn't cost anything. It's zero dollars. And they come, they get the education they need. Sometimes they use my services to purchase the home, and sometimes they get the information from me, and they go use a different real estate agent. But it's it's not about just you know the just doing business. It's just about giving back to my community. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I love that. Um, you're right. Community is everything, and yeah. without it, it it you can do some things, but you can't do much. You know, community. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, everyone in the community plays a part, and you definitely touch something that was important too. You know. When you're looking to get into, you know, a phase like transitioning into your home and things of that nature, that's a big step, you know, as a man or a woman, mm -hmm. but definitely as an individual here in America. And when you don't have access to the necessities of proper people in your community, even with mm -hmm. you taking the initiative to invest in books and knowledge that you thought would get you there, you still need mm -hmm. mentors, you still mm -hmm. need tangible space of, you know, people to guide you, you know, share proper wisdom, knowledge, and insight. So, you know, you can be able to move forward. Of course, be faithful, trust in God that that's mm -hmm. most important and have like-minded individuals to do what's necessary to, to help you pivot in the right direction. So community is definitely something that we here on the Lady E Effect, we absolutely agree is a necessity um, to have in especially business. Um, um, obviously we have, you know, somewhat a, of a target audience in terms of whatever industries we're in, but a community, an active community and a gaging community and a community that trusts you is important too. So mm -hmm. thank you for sharing your insight in regards mm -hmm. to that. Um, that's very wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, with me um, asking you about community, um, with you also being out in the community every day, um, and being as active as you are, what are two areas that you would say from, you know, your observation and you being active in the community that you believe definitely still requires change in today's time? Change in today's time. I think um, 
Can you give me an example? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what you mean. So in other words, um, obviously there's areas of improvement or challenge mm -hmm. in the community. So from your perspective and what you see um, when you step out in the community, what mm -hmm. stands out to you that um, you would highly recommend for us to focus on in terms of in community improvement? I think we should get more involved in not just our community, but in the surrounding areas, like get more involved in the schooling or get more involved in politics uh, because I see a lot of people have the mentality of, oh, I'm just here to work and make money and go back to Nigeria. But we're really here to stay. Because I, you know, I remember when I came just yesterday and I've been here for about 20, I think about 28 years now. Mm. You know, it just happened so quickly. So we need to just embrace the country more, get involved in politics, have um, things to help build our community like monthly, um, there's different things we should try and do regularly to bring each other together. Mm. Is what I would say. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, you know, I think also when it comes to the mindset, you know, literally what you said, you know, I want to come make money and, you know, once I do, then skedaddle or mm -hmm. you know, focus on whatever, but your community, the engagement, what you invest in it. Um, how you do something like you said on a monthly basis, like whether it's like a webinar, you're sharing value, your knowledge, mm -hmm. um, whatever it is that can help people learn, um, be educated, thrive, personal development, right? Different things like that. It's extremely important to implement, you know, that gains credibility, that gains trust, that opens up a relationship between you and other fellow mm -hmm. people that are in your community. And you know, that's what a community is about. You know, mm -hmm. us as Nigerians, we like to say village, but, you know, mm -hmm. village, community, network, it's all it's all about the same things. Um, mm -hmm. We need to be active. We need to be present. We need to listen to the pain points of those that are in our community and see how we can collectively organize ourselves to help implement the proper solution. So um, I definitely appreciate you sharing your knowledge on that because community has a lot to do with success you know mm -hmm. um we're providing services and solutions to everyday people let alone professionals and businesses mm -hmm. but it has everything to do with the community so we appreciate you touching bases on that so last but not least um definitely would love to um speak to you in regards to the word purpose mm -hmm. here on the lady e effect um we specialize in personal development, business success, of course, optimization and everything in between. Um, obviously everything in life um, should be with intention and purpose. So mm -hmm. when you think about the word purpose, how would you like to share with the audience the, import the importance of purpose to you? My purpose is very important to me. Like my personal purpose, my personal purpose that I have is um, to put a million families in a million homes. Mm. Uh, that's a purpose I have. And that purpose has helped me transition from a boy to a man, you know, has mm. helped me metamorphosize everything about myself, like mentally, physically, just everything I do revolves around that purpose. So it's important for you to have a purpose that will, that will guide you to become a better person in mm. this life. Mm. Just like, yeah amen that's beautiful yes um and i love how um passionate you are too about others um to be active to be as engaging as you are and i'm sure those that tune in would probably recognize you in your efforts um you come in person you know you're very tangible as you said in terms of your presence your communication um, the way you converse with another, one another, you listen to the needs of those in the community, you're intentionally educating them and helping them position themselves to not just, you know, gain property and move into homes, but teaching them the the fundamentals of how to properly navigate in this, in, in the country, you know, and that's mm -hmm. something that is very, very um, valuable. You know, we all have a lot of value to provide and value and purpose go hand in hand. You know, mm -hmm. your purpose is how you express your value to others, how you express it to the community, how you express it worldwide, 
how you express this to professionals and everything in between. So we really appreciate you taking the time to come on our platform today, share your wealth of knowledge, um, how passionate you are about helping others and definitely being very intentional about how you ed educate other individuals. If there's anyone that is looking to get in touch with you, how would they do so? Available, you could call me directly. My number is 301-559-2872. I'm on all social media platforms under the name EZE underscore OKWODU. That's Instagram, that's Facebook, that's LinkedIn, that's Twitter, TikTok, um, YouTube. So just use that name, EZE underscore OKWODU. Wow, that's wonderful. Um, bonus question. Um, do you have any upcoming events or anything that you think that you would love for the audience to know? Well, yeah, I have, I have two events. Uh, the the most important one to me is my home buying seminar happening September 21st. I'm having it in a Swahili village in Bellsville, Maryland from 12 to 2, September 21st. Then I'm having a networking event for African Heritage. I don't know if you know, but this month is African Heritage Month. Uh, the Maryland Governor, Governor West Small, officially announced and gave us September as African Heritage Month. Uh, so I'm having a networking event on September 27th at Cleopatra Winery. That's the first African um, female African-American winery in the United States. So that's a big deal. So I'm, you know, I'm being part of history. You should come over there September 27th for the networking event and September 21st for my home buying seminar. Wow, you are doing yeah. some phenomenal things and God bless you. I love how active you are and how intentional you are for not even just making history, but daily, you know, being intentional yeah. about serving the community. That's definitely um, what we love to highlight here on the Lady E Effect. So we'd love to have you come on for a future episode, um, but we appreciate your time today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, we appreciate your time. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Once again, um, please be sure to subscribe to us on our YouTube platform, as well mm -hmm. as all of our audio, social media platforms, and our audio podcast. Once again, my name is Lady E, also known as Edith. And take care and have a nice day. Bye-bye.